So you always hear people say when you're applying, you need to customize your CV, you need to make your CV ATS friendly. But then what exactly does that mean? I'm gonna apply just to show you how you can do that exactly. So the first thing that you have to do is make sure that you have all your tabs open. So you're going to need uh, LinkedIn open and then you're going to use Canva. I use Canva for editing all of my CVs. And then you're also going to use ChatGPT. So have those three tabs open already so that you're ready to start your customization. So, okay, let's see when we're gonna, which job are we starting with? So go into LinkedIn, search your location, press enter. And then you're gonna go into date posted here. Uh, let's try 24 hours. The earlier you get the job, the better. Then show. And then we come on here and then you, pre you press remote because you're looking for a remote job. Then we're gonna show what's available. Okay, so you see what you want to apply for. I am in marketing, so a lot of my positions will be in marketing. This is something I can apply for. Search engine optimization and paid ads. And then appointment setter, uh, marketing specialist. This is good. Okay, so let's apply for this marketing specialist position. So for this optimization, you might need to be using your laptop or your computer so that you can easily copy right because that's what we want to do i read through the description it says minimum of five years i do not have that five years and then i'll skip because they need five years i don't have that five years okay let's see what else is there all right what can i apply for today Okay, let's go on to page three. Digital marketing expert, okay. This already has like thousands of applicants, but for the purpose of me wanting to show how you can customize your CV, this is what you're gonna do. I have zero chance of getting this because there's like already a lot, but you know, we're trying to just see how, how we can apply. Okay. So let's just apply to this and see. So basically what you see here, you copy this, you copy the job description, you copy everything right after copying control C, then you're going to go on to chat gpt so for chat gpt i already have a prompt so i said hey chat this is my cv i'm currently applying for i'm not applying for project management i'm applying for marketing for marketing administration just fix that up marketing administration office management okay let me remove this i'm not doing this anymore this was just a prompt I took from an existing one. Okay, I'd like help applying for the positions I'm applying for. Okay, so my prompt, you currently you should have a prompt, you know. I currently have a prompt which I said, hey Chad, this is my CV. I'm currently experienced in marketing, administration, office management. I would like help applying for, and then you can insert your job. So I'll just say the same positions the same positions and then i go over to say i'll be copying the job description from linkedin and other job boards for you to use when optimizing my cv for each specific role you can advise me on this is we asking for chat gpt's input on what experience to highlight or to remove so my cv is fully tailored and relevant to the job that you're applying for lots of people just apply with just a generic CV, you're applying for a marketing thing, we don't want to see your HR. You're applying for bookkeeping, we don't want to see your graphic design, okay? So what changes to make in my professional summary to strengthen my profile? Any additional professional skills I should write that align with the job? 
The goal is to make my CV 100% job friendly and optimized for each position I apply for. So before you do anything, before you even start this customizing, get your prompt right, okay? Get your prompt right. All right. And then let's attach the CV because we say this is my CV, right? Let's attach my CV. Let's see. Marketing. Marketing. Okay, let me just say marketing resume. There it is. Then we attach it. And while that loads, just fine tune your prompt. You can just check which positions you also want to apply for. I uh, want to also be looking into virtual assistants. Right. So this is uploaded and then you send it to ChatGPT. Right. Then ChatGPT is going to review and say, okay, you know, I get what you're saying. I'm going to, what I need from you, you know, all of that. So now you say this is the first job. And then paste that job that we already copied on LinkedIn. Come on here, copy it. And then they're going to show you what ChatGPT is actually going to assist you in applying for these jobs. So, you know, we I already got that experience for the marketing that I have, social media, you know. And then suggestion, it says to downplay the virtual assistant role because it's not put, it's not relevant here. Again, I'm applying for a digital marketing. So ChatGPT's suggestion is that this virtual assistant position is not relevant. So I can go onto Canva. This is where you go onto Canva. This is why when you make your CV, you need to make them in Canva so that you're able to edit it, right? So this is my original CV. I do not want to mess with this. So what I do is go onto here, onto file, and then I say make a copy because whatever edits I'm going to need to do, I still want to keep my original untempered CV. Go on here. Now, this is a copy. As you can see, it says copy off. Right. So ChatGPT's first suggestion was to remove the virtual assistant position. Removed it. There we go. It's off. Right. All right. And then, you know, it suggested my professional summary. Take that professional summary, I copy it, control C, and then uh, I actually don't have a professional summary here. Okay, no, not a problem. So because my original CV did not have a summary, now I actually have that little space to put the summary. So I will just group this and so that I'm able to move things around, you know, and then paste this there is my professional summary okay results driven digital marketing specialist etc 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 that's my summary there next thing professional skills to emphasize it then gives me all these you know and then things to remove that's this and this and let's just put these the skills Boop, -da -da -da. Mm -mm. they say to remove this okay then what else can i put copywriting i think i already have copywriting in my cv yeah i do have copywriting here okay that's fine so basically, this is the first already tailored CV that I can, and then it says what I what else I can remove. I can remove my civil engineering diploma. It says to keep it in education, but not to highlight it. I can also remove office tools such as Booking Koala or Open Phone as these are not relevant. So I go on here, uh, let's see, Open Phone, Booking Koala, Launch 27. These are not relevant to the position that I'm applying for. We need to just keep experience for that specific position. Okay, and this is basically the CV done. 
so what you have to do now you know you're just making it look good just fixing up the spacing just making sure everything is well aligned like here it's not aligned there we go simple and clean so now what we do you're going to say this is my resume for let's remove here where it says copy off right then you're gonna say go back to the job copy the job name if you can digital marketing expert go back to canva then you're gonna say your name and then digital marketing expert resume this is this so that you know how to keep how to save it so that you don't get lost so just give it one final once over to make sure everything's good make sure that chat gpt's suggestions are all in there so you can see i fixed this experience i already have all this experience and then it suggested to remove this va role which i did remove i rewrote my professional summary and then i rewrote my skills and removed the ones which were not relevant now go back to canva and then we're gonna go here where it says share after sharing i'm gonna say download it you have to download it as a pdf standard download and then save it right now you have your customized ats friendly cv now go back to linkedin right and then we go on to easy apply i'm gonna go on to next here where it says upload resume this is where you come to upload your resume and then this one that we literally just saved we literally optimized this is specific and tailored for this position i'm gonna go on to open and then it's already selected if it's like this then you're gonna go on to next then fill in the information I have two years here and then review everything you need to review blah 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 blah, blah and submit okay so this is basically how you would tailor your resume for each position if you get this done if you get it right if you get your chat gpt prompt correctly i'm gonna put the prompt in the description this will be good for you you can do about 10 applications those 10 applications 10 optimized ats friendly applications are a lot better than 100 generic um applications and that's pretty much it. that is pretty much how you do it